In this video, we'll look at how to set up an environment for your scene in Clever. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash Clever House. I've imported it into the Architecture Daylight 8am preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. I've also turned on the specular and reflection settings for the material used in the windows. You can find out how to do this in a separate video. First of all, let's look at the default environment that Clever has created for us. To do this, click on the Scene menu, then click on the Environment button. You can see the settings for the environment on the right of the screen. The environment is being controlled by three images the background map, the reflections map, and another map that controls the image based lighting. We will be focusing on the first two maps here. The background map is displayed in the background of the scene. You can see that if I click on the cross icon to unassign it, the background of the scene becomes plain white. The Reflections map is displayed by reflective objects in the scene. If I unassign it, you can see that the reflections in the windows disappear. We are going to set up a new environment for the scene, but before we do so, let's talk about the kind of images you will need. This image is a free one from a website called HDR Maps. It shows a harbour at dawn. It's typical of the ones that you will find in online libraries. Although it's a very high quality image, there are two problems with it from Clever's point of view. First, it's a high resolution HDR, so it's a very large file. This will make your presentation slow to load. You can reduce its size by converting it from 32 bits per channel to 8 bits per channel in a graphics editor like Photoshop. Save it as a JPEG or other low dynamic range format. Reducing the resolution will also help. If you look at the environment images used in Clever's demo scenes, they're typically around 1000 to 2000 pixels in width. The second problem is that the image is a cylindrical panorama. To use it in Clever, you're going to need to convert it to a cube map. If you search online, you can find websites that will do this for free. But if you're going to be producing a lot of environment maps, you may want to invest in some dedicated software. One application that you can use is Garden Gnome Software's Pano to VR. It's relatively inexpensive and you can test it for free. Another thing to be aware of is that when you create your background map, you may only want to show the sky. Otherwise, you may find that the bottom half of the map displays underneath the objects in the scene, making them look like they're floating in space. You can find ready made skies online, but if you're using an image like this one, you can prepare it by overlaying a white gradient in Photoshop or a similar image editor. Again, you'll need to convert the image to a cube map before you can use it in Clever. Let's try assigning our new maps. You can import images in horizontal cross format, but we're going to import the faces individually. So from the background map drop down, select Six Images. Now click on the image swatch. The upload guide will appear. Click on the up arrow to browse for images. We will be importing the top face of the cube first. Select it, then click Open. The process may take a few seconds. You can import the other cube faces in the same way. At the end of the process, your cube map should look something like this. Click the cross icon to close the upload guide. You can see that the sky has appeared in the background of the scene. You can assign a reflection map in the same way. Set the drop down to six images. Now click on the image swatch to begin importing the faces of the cube map. At the end of the process, the map should look something like this. Click the cross icon to close the upload guide. You can see that our harbour scene is now reflected in the windows of the house. 